Picture Voyager 2, a small spacecraft launched in 1977, at the height of the space age. Built by NASA, it was designed to be a cosmic explorer, venturing farther than any human-made object before it. Its mission was ambitious, to visit the giant planets of our solar system, and send back images and data that would transform our understanding of these distant worlds. Embarking on a journey across the vast and uncharted outer solar system, Voyager 2 set out on a path that would take it billions of miles from Earth into the cold and dark reaches where sunlight is just a faint glimmer. It took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, a cosmic event that happens only once every 176 years, using the gravity of Jupiter and Saturn to slingshot itself onward at incredible speeds. This clever maneuver allowed Voyager 2 to visit not just the gas giants, but also the mysterious ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, on a single, continuous journey. Voyager 2 was more than just a machine, it was humanity's message in a bottle, carrying the golden record, a time capsule of music, greetings, and images from Earth. This record was meant for any intelligent life that might one day find the spacecraft drifting among the stars, a testament to our curiosity and hope for connection. Along its journey, Voyager 2 revealed the swirling storms of Jupiter, the intricate beauty of Saturn's rings, and became the only probe to ever visit Uranus. There, it discovered new moons, studied the planet's tilted magnetic field, and sent back images that astonished scientists and the public alike. But its ultimate destination was Neptune, the most distant and enigmatic of the giant planets. Shrouded in blue clouds and mystery, Neptune had never been seen up close, and many wondered what secrets it might hold. After 12 years in space and nearly 3 billion miles traveled, Voyager 2 finally approached Neptune in 1989. The world watched in anticipation as the spacecraft prepared to unveil secrets never before seen by human eyes, capturing images and data that would forever change our view of the solar system. As Voyager 2 sent back the first close-up look at the eighth planet and its strange icy moons, people everywhere marveled at the achievement. It was a moment of wonder, a reminder of how far curiosity and ingenuity can take us, even to the edge of our solar system. In August 1989, Voyager 2 neared Neptune, capturing breathtaking images of swirling storms and supersonic methane clouds. The mission's grand finale was a daring flyby of Neptune's largest moon, Triton, a world shrouded in mystery. Triton's retrograde orbit hinted at a violent past, likely captured from the Kuiper Belt. Scientists expected a frozen cratered wasteland, geologically dead and silent. On August 25th, Voyager 2 skimmed just 40,000 kilometers above Triton's pole, snapping the first close-up images ever. Data streamed back to Earth, anticipation building in NASA's control rooms. After 12 years, the team was about to witness a new world, and everything they thought they knew was about to change. They were wrong. When the first images of Triton began to stream in from Voyager 2, the scientific community held its breath. What they saw was nothing short of astonishing. Instead of a battered ancient moon pockmarked by countless craters, Triton revealed itself as a world alive with unexpected activity and mystery. The surface was not the static frozen wasteland many had predicted, but something far more dynamic and intriguing. Where scientists expected to find a landscape scarred by eons of impacts, they instead saw vast smooth plains stretching for miles. These unblemished expanses suggested a surface that was young, constantly renewed, and shaped by forces still at work beneath the ice. This revelation hinted at a powerful process erasing the marks of time. Something was actively resurfacing Triton, making it one of the most geologically active bodies in the solar system, despite its frigid location at the edge of Neptune's domain. But the true shock came when Voyager 2's cameras captured mysterious dark plumes streaking across Triton's polar cap. These weren't just odd surface features, they were evidence of something extraordinary happening right before our eyes. Scientists soon realized these were not mere windblown marks or stains. They were geysers, cryovolcanoes erupting with tremendous force, blasting nitrogen gas and icy particles miles above the surface. It was a spectacle of icy volcanism unlike anything seen elsewhere in the solar system. On Triton, where temperatures plunge hundreds of degrees below zero, the landscape was alive with eruptions of ice and gas. The moon, colder than any place we'd ever visited was not silent or still, it was erupting with energy, rewriting our understanding of what was possible in the outer solar system. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific world. It shattered long-held assumptions about where and how worlds could be active, 
forcing planetary scientists to reconsider the very nature of geological activity in the coldest reaches of space. The images from Voyager 2 became a catalyst for new theories and debates. Scientists pored over every detail realizing they would have to rethink everything they thought they knew about the outer solar system and the potential for activity on other icy worlds. Triton's dynamic eruptions became a symbol of the universe's endless surprises, a reminder that even in the most remote and frozen corners of our solar system, there are forces at work that can defy our expectations and ignite our curiosity. The cosmos, it seemed, was far stranger and more wonderful than we'd ever imagined. Triton's story was a testament to the power of exploration and a promise that the universe still holds countless secrets waiting to be discovered. Voyager 2 revealed Triton's bizarre landscape, smooth plains erupting geysers and the strange cantaloupe terrain. This dimpled, ridged region hinted at powerful forces reshaping the moon's icy crust. Triton's backward orbit confirmed it was a captured wanderer, likely from the Kuiper Belt. Its violent capture by Neptune unleashed tidal forces melting its interior and fueling ongoing activity. The heat from that ancient event may still drive Triton's eruptions today. Every feature Smooth Plains Cantaloupe Terrain Geysers tells the story of a moon forever changed by cosmic violence. Triton's face is a record of its dramatic past, written in ice and scars. How does a frozen world like Triton erupt? At first glance it seems impossible. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is a frigid, distant world, locked in the outer reaches of our solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and temperatures plunge to nearly minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet against all odds, this frozen landscape is home to one of the most fascinating phenomena in planetary science. The answer is cryovolcanism. Volcanoes that erupt not with molten rock but with ice and gas, powered by subtle, hidden heat. These are sometimes called ice volcanoes, and they reveal that even the coldest places can be surprisingly dynamic. Sunlight, though weak at Triton's distance from the sun, penetrates the moon's translucent nitrogen ice. This light is enough to gently warm the dark material trapped beneath the surface, setting the stage for something extraordinary. Even this tiny bit of warmth is enough to turn solid nitrogen into gas. As the gas builds up, pressure increases beneath the ice, until it finally bursts through the surface in a dramatic geyser, venting material far above Triton's planes. Nitrogen gas and icy particles shoot miles high, creating the spectacular plumes that Voyager 2 captured during its historic flyby. These plumes can reach heights of up to 5 miles, spreading dark streaks across the moon's surface. Triton proved that even distant icy moons can be geologically active with just a hint of internal heat and sunlight. Its surface is constantly reshaped by these eruptions, showing us that geological activity isn't limited to warm, rocky planets. Before Triton, scientists believed only large, warm worlds like Earth or Jupiter's volcanic moon Io could be dynamic. The discovery of cryovolcanism on Triton shattered that assumption, expanding our understanding of where life and activity might exist. Now we know the outer solar system is alive with hidden energy and surprises. Moons once thought to be dead and frozen are now seen as places of change and possibility, driven by forces we are only beginning to understand. Triton opened our minds to new possibilities for activity on cold, distant worlds. Its icy volcanoes remind us that the universe is full of wonders, waiting to be discovered in the most unexpected places. Triton's revelations changed our search for life. It showed that liquid water could exist far from the sun, hidden beneath icy shells and warmed by internal forces. Suddenly moons like Europa and Enceladus became prime candidates for life, even outside the traditional habitable zone. Geysers on Triton and elsewhere offer a window into these subsurface oceans, potential habitats for life. The discovery expanded our definition of where life might thrive in the universe. Triton taught us to look beyond Earth-like planets and consider the dark, cold worlds of the outer solar system. The answer to, are we alone, might be locked beneath the ice of a distant moon. After Triton, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued into interstellar space. Its cameras shut down, it sailed beyond the sun's influence, joining Voyager 1 as humanity's first emissaries to the stars. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed into interstellar space, still sending faint signals home. Its power is fading and soon it will fall silent, a ghost ship on a cosmic sea. Yet its legacy endures, the first close-ups of Uranus, Neptune and the astonishing world of Triton. Voyager 2 rewrote our textbooks and expanded our imagination, 
Even in silence it carries our message and curiosity into the galaxy. It is a monument to human wonder, forever voyaging through the endless night.